welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be doing of course another makeup tutorial um today i wanted to do a full face eye look with the morphe butterfly out of street palette i don't think i've really done a full face just using this palette alone usually when i use my palettes i use more than one eyeshadow palette but i just want to use one eyeshadow palette in this tutorial i do not want to use anything else so i'm going to stick with this i'm going to come up with a look with this palette alone okay first things first of course i'm starting off with a fresh face um i was going to have my eyebrows already done in the video i always say this <laughs> but um i like to show you guys how i do my brows just in case it's a new viewer you know that i mean hey hello if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet you should um i like to just start off because you never know who's new that's clicking on you know what i'm saying you never seen my channel but seen this thumbnail and you guys you know would like to see how i do my full face without skipping a step so i'm just going to go ahead and start on my eyebrows so i'm going to go ahead and use my nyx eyebrow pencil in the color espresso that's the color i'm using and for concealers i'm going to use my l'oreal infallible full wear concealer and i'm going to mix it with the la pro conceal in the color fawn i'm going to mix these both together take my Rimmel London press powder in the color natural and I'm just going to set my concealer on my eyes because I don't want this to crease and I want um, my base to be very smooth and set for my eyeshadow <laughs> Now I'm gonna go right in to the palette. Morphe. It comes with pretty colors in here. I have some mattes and some shimmers. Um, I really want to take. I usually go in with my transition color first, but I'm gonna do something different today. I'm gonna go in with my um, lid color, and I'm gonna take the color Besties. It's called Besties. It's a really hot pink shade in here. It looks purple on camera a little bit, but it's very bright and it's like a neon matte pink shade so i'm gonna take that the way the look i want i want it to like not look perfect i want my eyeshadows to just like i don't know how, what type of effect that i know in my head i have the vision but actually describing it is kind of hard to explain I'm kind of moving it up on my lid the color so I'm kind of like putting it in my crease area going above that and I'm just patting it in 
So next, what I want to do is I want to take a blending brush. I want to blend up here first with the color. Blend a little of that, a little of that in. I want to take this shade add up here. It's a really pretty neutral brown. And I'm just going to blend up here with this shade. Sometimes I feel like my camera be too bright and too like, I don't know, something with the color um, to where like it doesn't pick up the color of my eyeshadow like as vibrant as it looks in the mirror on camera maybe. I don't know, but I feel like it don't, don't show like as deep as it is like in person, if I'm making sense. taking my NYX matte liquid liner and I really want to do like a thick wing but I don't want I want to make it short and thick I don't want to make it too long but you just never know once I get my hands on this liner it just do what it wants to do so I'm just gonna go with the flow Okay, and for lashes, y'all, I've been waiting for my lashes to get shipped in because I'm usually wearing mink, 25mm uh, mink lashes, and those are, like, my type of lashes. They're very long. They're just, like, dramatic. If you guys see the difference of my lashes since I've been doing my tutorials, then, like, you know, if you, if you haven't, then that's okay, but cool. <laughs> that's good, but I've been using, like, Beauty Supply Lashes. And um, I've just been trying to make them look good as I can. Um, I have I got so used to my 25 mm mink lashes that I don't even wear the beauty supply lashes anymore, which is like crazy because I used to say I love I still love them no matter what, but because these always will come through. But I'm just addicted to what I, I like now, and that's it. <laughs> I finally found some lashes that I really like and that I always wanted because I felt like the beauty supply ones were always was cute but I'm just like they can give a little bit more and I finally found what I like so I'm sticking to what I like and I'm using beauty supply lashes I don't remember the brand of them I just know that I doubled two lashes together to make it look like this so <laughs> so now the foundation I'm going to take is my Spicy Brown Matte Plus Poreless. That's the color, Spicy Brown. The brand I'm using is Maybelline. I'm going to mix a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match with it. And the color is Soft Stable C6. I've been doing this recently and it's been making my makeup look really good. LA Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. 
and this is closest to my foundation shade a little bit just like one shade lighter i want to take this shade first this just gives me a much more fuller coverage and i like to take this shade around my mouth area too as well because this is where my makeup normally gets a little faded so because you know kissing your boo eating you know what i'm saying like this is what you use mostly during the day is your mouth i'm going to go ahead and blend this out first Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Toffee Caramel 405 on top. I'm gonna go ahead and set this with my Roma London, of course, Stay Matte Press Powder. <laughs> and I'm starting from my eyes, under my eyes first, so this is where I crease fast. I'm gonna go ahead and set that. I take it down my nose, so this is where I get oily, honey, okay? This is where my pores get oily. remaining of my face using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless in the shade Coconut 355. I'm going to set the remaining, my, the remaining of my face with this. I'm going to go in back with the Murphy palette and I'm trying to figure out what shade to use. I think I just want to keep it settled. So I'm going to go in with uh, the shade Add, the one that I took above my up here in this area, the second color. I only use two colors in this palette, so I'm using the cup that matte brown shade. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Morphe first. This takes away the the powder, you know, look. And I'm going to go ahead and take this, and then I'm gonna take this over it, the NYX Matte Finish Spray, to lock in everything. <laughs> Okay, so I'm taking my Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm going to contour with this in light to medium. I usually use medium to dark, but I want it to be a light contour. I don't want to contour too harsh. I want to take blush today, y'all. Y'all gonna be like, what? Girl, when you start using blush? <laughs> I'm gonna take it today. I'm gonna use this NYX blush. This is their Double Dare. It's called Double Dare, and it's very bright, y'all. I'm always scared of this blush because I don't even want to look like a clown, you know what I'm saying? Blush, you just got to know how to put it on and how to wear it, how to rock it. And I just sometimes I be like, ugh, I kind of run from it, but I really like this color. It's very, very pretty. It goes with a lot of looks. It's a very coral, orangey type of blush, and it goes well with my brown skin. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, find me a nice brush going to do a little bit 
Y'all, this stuff is pigmented, so I just advise you if you get this, take your time because it's very vibrant. Like, you, it shows up very quick, as you can see. It's already showing up on my skin. It's very pretty. And it's very, it's a nice vibe for the summer right now. I know the summer is like te technically kind of ending, but like I'm trying to get in with the vibe it's before it ends. So I'm trying to get into it before it ends. Like what? I'm going to go ahead and use one of these NYX Duos. Now I have it in, uh, these are the Dual Chromatic Illuminating Powders, powders so that color and um it's like a highlighter and a blush in one i already know i, I just put on blush but i want to use this i have one that's in a more of a you know like a orange type of color shimmer and then i have one that is cracked okay but it's like a pretty pink and i think i want to use this one i should be using the um i should be using the orange one but since i did like an orange type of blush so I want to use this one, you know, I like this one a little better than that, that color. I just want a little bit, just want it to shine within, you know, like that. Ooh, it's a pretty combination. That's a real pretty combination, actually. Like, really pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. And to highlight other places, I'm going to go ahead and take my Master Chrome Highlighter by Maybelline. Now time for the lips. So for my lips, I'm going to take it real nice and affordable. I'm taking my NYX, not NYX, see I'm so used to saying NYX lip liner. I'm taking my beauty supply lip liner, okay honey? And I'm going to line it up with this. This is like a dark brown. I do have a light brown too, but I'm going to use a dark brown. This one is a little too dark, so I'm just going to go over this with uh, my NYX lip liner and the color... Just it's brown, but it's it's lighter than this. I can't find the light uh, lip liner for the beauty supply. I only can find my dark one, so I'm just gonna go over it with this one a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Ruby Kisses uh, matte lipstick. Y'all, I love this. It's from Beauty Supply and it's in the color rosy pink. They have every color you want, literally. So I'm gonna top it over with some regular Beauty Supply lip gloss. I kinda wanna put something else on. Y'all, I be trying to like, Get it perfect exactly how I want it to be. Hold on. I got this um, Pinky Rose. It's by Pinky Rose Cosmetics Elegant Gloss. And it's in the color Seductive. And it's like really thick and nude. I like to just place this in the middle, the center of my lip. Yeah. That should be. That should be it. It's set. Honey. So, this is basically it for this entire look. This is giving me like Barbie vibes and like summer for real. Like summer, I don't want you to end. Stay. I love this look a lot. It's super easy to do. You do not need this eyeshadow palette to do this look. Like, if you got a hot pink shade that's in your palette that you want to use and you know you can use that okay <laughs> that and blend it like it's very easy to do just do the same steps i did 
you'll get it it's it's super easy and i love the highlights i love how everything is flowing the colors are, looks very very good so i'm impressed i like it you guys like it i like it a lot so as long as y'all like it i like it too <laughs> so uh, i love you baby doll so much i'll try 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 i'll try to list all of these things down below that i used i know i always say that and then i'll be like where's the what happened to the description what happened to the description i'd be like uh um i'm sorry i'm gonna try to do better with that it's just so many products to list but for you guys i have to go in and put in that work to list literally everything that i use like i used to okay so i need to go back into doing that if i didn't say anything in this video that you would like to know please let me know down below uh in the comment section let me know how you feel about this look and i'll see you baby dolls in my next video love you Mwah.